Namaskar, my name is Santhya Thapa. I'm from Nepal. And um, in this EFL model, I get to go through the experience of fellows from around the world. I pay full attention to the post I read and I reflect on the idea before responding as a part of active listening. Mm, and I gather my points to respond on that. I check the point that I find interesting, then only I respond. As for example, Ezra Demir Ozgan from Turkey she is one of my fellow friend from EFL and she has shared in her post uh, regarding her experience as a teacher. And we talked about dress code in our country. To that feedback, I inquired regarding her thoughts on alternatives uh, that is um, not to have any dress code that is specially made for women teachers. To my view, she further clarified by the concept of um, culture prevalent in Japan, China and Russia where formal dress code is assigned, whereas in Europe or North America, there is no strict dress code for any teachers. So uh, likewise, she shared that she kept uh, the size of class small to address the issue of those students who have left their hometown. I think uh, this attempt for, um, you know, I think this attempt of uh, her uh, has created a space for intercultural communication. I find um, this term uh, very interesting and she calls it versatile sitting arrangement which enables uh, teachers monitoring students activity. While practicing active listening I also asked with her for additional information on the monitoring system for those students who may watch irrelevant materials on internet in the class. Her experience to get them fully attentive she creates or uh, mobile games that keep them away from irrelevant materials she does that uh, with the use of Kahoot quizzes Padlet uh, word wall so creative and clueless um, while talking to another fellow uh, from this class um, Yuxin Zheng from China uh, we talked about the case known as polychronic culture. I suggested to her to understand how students and to interpret what uh, their actions uh, by means of uh, polychronic culture which falls under in intercultural competence. Likewise, in my view, these kinds of uh, review sharing culture helps us to understand others and know more about others' behavior. Um, in addition, the discussion shows the way out to solve the problems we face in our professional activities. Um, I see there is interconnection between uh, reflecting critical thinking and um, active listening. All of these elements make us reasonable and sensitive towards others. Active listening and critical thinking are indispensable to encourage others to reflect. Active listening posters habit of thinking critically um, since it requires deeper logic um, from diverse experience, acquired from diverse experience and full attention um, and as one of the slides uh, of encouraging reflective practice reads, um, seeing multiple point of view is at the heart of critical thinking. In my own teaching practice, I can incorporate uh, these elements of reflection, critical thinking, and active listening. In my visual arts, I in my class um, uh, with, where I teach visual arts, um, I will facilitate students with the question for that they will be encouraged to pay full attention on the visual arts before reading the textbook. Following steps can be um, appropriate. Step one, asking them the meaning of the topic. Step two, making them watch the visual art. Step three, asking them if they have watched anything like that before. Step four, um, asking them to note down um, the colors and characters they see on the visual art. Step five, making them to listen to my lecture. Step six, asking them to read the main text from the book. 
and step seven asking them to share the view on the visual art and step eight includes allowing one another to question and step nine uh, includes asking them to note down everyone's review i will also inspire them to observe first and make the interpretation following the arguments of um, gerald frank in order to foster culture awareness in english classroom i will encourage them to think about uh, surface culture subculture and deep culture giving specific example from our own culture to help students to differentiate and find other culture can be achieved when they understand um, kinds of culture embedded in the visual arts i will find separate session of at least one hour a week just for the reflection and um, to encourage them to prepare paper integrating ideas acquired by deeper understanding of a movie or series in my visual art class okay uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope you find uh, this video insightful